Hi Jane, thanks, for, thanks a lot for talking to um, Turf Business TV today. First day at Sortex, good yes. footfall for you? It's been a fantastic day, we've been so busy, I've just about got a voice <laughs> left. Yes, it's been really, really good, really good. You can see, actually from far away, we can see you're busy pretty much all day. So you've got some exciting launches here today. Yeah. Um, first of all, we're going to talk about the tiny line marker that yeah. we're stood next to here at yeah. Sortex. Um, tell me a bit, a bit about it, because I know it's doing really well and with already some orders in place. Yes, that's right, the tiny line marker. It's the next generation autonomous line marking robot. Okay, so the big benefit of the tiny line marker is it's smarter, it's faster, and it's lighter, and it's e so easy to use uh, for the customer. So it's a lot faster. You can initial mark a standard size football pitch in 20 minutes, and using impact paint, uh, you can mark five pitches from one 10 litre drum. So it's really efficient and economical. It's lighter, it only weighs 30 kilos. So all you do for transport, you slide the battery out from the side here. Uh, and then one person can pick it up and move it from site to site if they want to because obviously it's designed for multiple pitch marking whether it's on a single site or uh, it's a contractor moving from site to site and it's so easy to use it's simple um, it comes uh, together with a, a, a smart pad and all you do is put in two points and then you can move the pitches size and reposition them very simply by just dragging them on the screen. So no um, base station? Um, that you, don't, you absolutely don't need a base station, all you need is the robot and your tablet, that's all you need. So it's very quick, very simple to set up for the customer. Yeah. And um, I'm sure that's what people want now, I think there's, you know, we know there's others on the market, so that's obviously very unique. That um, is what they want, and the feedback, we've, we've already done some development, a lot of uh, demonstrations with customers, and the feedback that we've had has been excellent, and that's where we got the lighter, <laughs> easier, faster. Yeah, no, definitely. And um, and you've had some good feedback at Sortex while you've been here today? Yes, it's been really good. We've had a lot of, you know, it's drawn a lot of people onto the stand and also we've got an outside demonstration area and the uh, demonstration guys out there have also been really busy. So it's been really good because people can actually see it in here and look at it and touch it and then they can go outside and see it moving around the demonstration plot as well. That's fantastic. Very good. And yeah. you said multi-use, so pretty much we can line marks on any field of yes. play. You can mark, uh, it's uh, designed for natural grass surfaces, you can mark uh, football, rugby, uh, American football, whether it's from fixed sockets or movable goals, which makes it very flexible. It will also initial mark athletics running tracks as well, and many, many other features beside that. Fantastic. Now it comes with its um, drum of um, impact paint, yes. um, which again is a unique product, I know, and um, suited very well suited to... Uh, the tiny line marker. Yeah. Um, what, what would you say about the paint itself? The big benefit, well the benefits are obviously you can, using the tiny you can initial or overmark five, five pitches from just one 10 litre drum. Um, and uh, the big benefit as well is there's no mixing, it's ready to use, so there's no mixing, no mess, no water. You just pop uh, the pipes straight into the top of the drum press the pad and off you go. Off you go. Yep. And and that would be for Astro and Natural Services, you say? Uh, or there's two distinct... Yeah, for, natu um, for natural grass at the moment, using the yeah. impact system. Yeah. Excellent. You, and can, you can use it on hard surfaces as well. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. That sounds great. And um, lastly, you've got another product that, I mean, on top of everything else, you've got your carbon for grass. Uh, yeah. Is that right? The carbon for grass has been a, a long ongoing uh, research project. We started that in 2005. Um, and every three years we've been assessing the grasses and basically what we did at the research station uh, in conjunction with our breeding partner Top Green, um, we've had this trial ongoing right from 2005 until today and we took samples um, from some fallow land at the site and then we took samples from established grasses on the site that were regularly maintained and what we've done is we've actually calibrated the amount of carbon that those grasses sequester into the soil so it's all about carbon capture and carbon sequestration. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. So a real benefit for plant health yeah. and it's... Uh, well, well, the good thing is, you know, you look, you've only got to look at the last sort of 12 months weather or more that we've experienced. That very wet autumn, the very cold spring, there was no spring at all. Then we went straight into the heat and drought. So there's no, no question that things are changing climatically. These climatic events are going to happen more often. 
So the more we can help do to um, mitigate the carbon emissions problem is to capture as much carbon and sequester it into the soil as we can. And the brilliant thing about the Carbon Foregrass project is that not only did we identify different species capability to do that, but also we identified individual cultivars within the species. And that's a significant thing. And some of the cultivars, so if you take, for example, perennial ryegrass, some of our cultivars that we identify can actually sequester twice as much carbon as others. So that's how we came about to develop the Carbon Foregrass mixtures. And we've got a range of mixtures um, a small range of mixtures for sports, uh, for golf and for landscape applications. Wow, oh, that's brilliant. And over yeah. such a long time, obviously, yeah. the, research, the research that's gone in, yeah. had you seen it, how it had successfully worked in all sorts of climates throughout those years yes, having so started? Obviously, with, with carbon sequestration, the soil type and the climate has, does, does vary the effect, but it's all relative in that situation. So it's been so it's been really really interesting, and um, and that's how gone to market has it that product. This is the official this is oh. the official launch. The this is new, only today, like the tiny. Yeah. Uh, the carbon foregrass is launched here at, at Soltex. So it's a very exciting time for us because we've got these two great projects ongoing. And on the carbon foregrass, we're continuing that development. So we're going to constantly assess new cultivars as they come into the program so that we can refresh and update. And all those cultivars, obviously, are proven in the field. They're, you know, they've got the characteristics that you want for the application that you're using them for, but the big benefit of, uh, from a maintenance point of view, because obviously when, you, when you've got an amenity maintained surface, you're actually contributing to, uh, to the carbon cycle by mowing or you know, other maintenance inputs. So the carbon foregressors can help mitigate those maintenance. <coughs>